Hi everyone. Back during the summer, I was working on a software package for the Atom to replace the Atom Image Manager that I wrote a few years ago for the ADE. It was going to be based very well, loosely but on the Atari menu driven DOS system which I grew up with and liked a lot. And I got very deep into it. I got very far into the software and then I started having issues with a member of the Facebook group and suffice it to say I lost my desire to want to work on the software and I put it aside and I moved on to writing games for the ColecoVision which is technically writing games for the Atom which I'm very happy doing but I wanted to show where I got with this and judge if there's any interest in it out there so this is Omega DOS version 0 0.01. It is so bleeding edge it cuts you. But it works. And it's running on the ADE. Over here is my ADE. It's booting off of the ADE. On your main menu you can see that you have a couple of options in here. you got Smart Basic. You have Configure DOS, Smart Writer, and then your various devices, Setup and Launch, Escape for Help. I haven't fleshed out all of them, but let me just show you. A lot of them does work. Smart Basic is B. I just press B. Exit Smart Basic, yes. Loading Smart Basic. And. Dun, dun, dun. Once it loads, it's loading. We're in Smart Basic. It's not even sitting in there for you to see, but it reloaded to Smart Basic. And then I'm just going to reset back out. Go back out to Omega DOS. That's the boot screen, loading Omega DOS, loads it, the fonts, and everything else. And then we can do the same with Smart Writer. Exit Smart Writer, yes. It's a lot quicker because it's in ROM. So we loaded the Smart Writer. I'm going to go back to Omega DOS. Then the other option on the top here in the main menu is Configure DOS. I'm just going to go into Configure DOS. And here you can set up how your system is set up. How many data drives do you have? No data drives, one data drive, two data drives. I have... Currently it says no, but I do have one, so I'm going to press, I'm going to select one data drive, and then I'm done. Exit to previous menu, exit to previous menu, back here. Alright, now it knows that I have a data drive. I'm going to go back to configure DOS, and I'm going to do some, oh, and I didn't save my changes either. I'm going to do some screen colors. I'm going to change the foreground to a light green. Yeah, I like that. It's a little bit more readable. Actually, you know what? I've been using Cyan a lot recently, so I'm going to go with Cyan. Uh, 7. Yeah, Cyan is really nice. It's in an escape, to, or X, either escape or A. Yeah, escape, I'm sorry. Uh, X, escape is for help. The help screens aren't, there's nothing on the help screen. If there's no help screen, it doesn't show it to you. So, I changed that there. I'm going to write my changes. Yeah, I'm going to write the changes. It just saved them over to ADE. Now, from now on, whenever I start up, it's going to boot up the same exact way. Back to the previous menu, I'm on the green screen. I can hit escape for help. It just shows a little dummy text file that's on there, but you can have any text file set up for the help. And then we have devices down here. You see we have a disk 1, 2, 3, and 4. Technically we only have two disk drives with the Atom, but with the AD you can have all four. So right now the devices are set up. One is the boot disk, which is Omega DOS. Two is a disk image of the Turmoil game that I wrote. Three is a disk image of the Crazy Climber game and D4 is empty. I'm going to just do a setup. Let's just go to setup, which is Smart Key 5, the V. And this is going to show you how it's set up. It doesn't let me change anything right now, but the setup just shows how things are set up. Uh, it's an ADE. EUS device number is 4. Software version 0.91. All those drives are enabled. The reason why it says the ID is ADE. I also have, was working on the software to replace that, to replace the ADE that had the built-in ESP32 so that you could do other things like actually connect to the archive and stuff like that. Things that Thomas Cherry Holmes is working on now with his FujiNet, I was building into it back during the summer. So I'm going to go in here. I'm just going to do a device. I'm going to go to, let's do device uh, 4. Let's open up 4. There's nothing in there. I'm going to mount an image. Loads up the SD card. Loads up all the images that are on there. 
I can put whatever I want now. I'm going to put file manager in that one. All right, so file manager is in there now. Now, I believe if I hit shift, if I hold down the shift and press F, um, smart key for it, should start file manager. Nope, I was wrong. So yeah, I, it's been a while. It's been five months since I worked on this, so I don't remember all the commands. I go to launch and launch just relaunches the boot disk. So let me change things. Maybe I got to change some stuff around in here. I was tinkering with this, so it's not perfect. Um, I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to uh, unmount this image. Actually, I can just mount over top bit. I'm going to mount file manager in there. So now file manager is device one. Device two, I'm going to leave this terminal, crazy climber. Device four, I'm going to clear that one out, unmount the image. Yes. So now I've got a setup as device one's file manager, device two is a uh, disk image there, device three is crazy client redux, and four is empty, and now if I hit launch, it's going to throw me right into file manager. And there you go, and now if I hit reset, it'll take me back into Omega DOS. Alright, so what I just did is I took a moment and I wiped the SD card and I put something else on it instead. Now I'm going to show you what I did. I'm going to go to the drive 2. I'm going to do a mount image. You see now I have a whole bunch of directories in here. I'm going to go into, let's just go into directory D. And let's see what game do I like here. Oh, do, 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 do. oh what, what, what game do I like? What game do I like? Oh, I don't care really. Uh, let's just do <laughs> Alphabet Zoo. I mounted Alphabet Zoo into that one. Okay, now I'm going to go into three. I'm going to mount an image. I'm going to select a nice directory to work from. I want to find something that starts with the letter D. Okie dokie. I'm going to go and if you notice we have next page down here. If I hit the arrow key, it goes to the next page, previous page. So there's multiple pages in here. I'm going to put in, um, I'll just choose one of the dig dubs. Q is good enough for me. And drive four, or disc four is, you know, I'm just realizing I, yeah, I forgot to implement the shift, right? I forgot to implement that, right? Yeah, shift, the shift doesn't launch. So me selecting these drives doesn't help here. I select these um, files doesn't help, but what I wanted to show you is that I can mount various ROM images to different ones, but I'm just gonna go into, I'm gonna mount it, and I'll put it on disc one so I can launch it. I'm going to go, it remembers, if you notice, it remembers what directory I was in. I'm going to go, let's just go down to S. What's an S that I might like? Oh, did I hit F? Oh, I don't know. I want to mount image. I want to go to A, back to here. The letter S, or, oh, letter S is over here. It's V. That's kind of confusing that I have directories, just single letters, and that's not the letter to select there. But... The drive S and uh, da, 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 da. what do I want to put in here? Uh, da, 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 anything? Santa's gift. What is Santa's gift? We don't know, but we're gonna find out. I mounted that in drive one, so I'm just gonna launch it now. Let's just see what Santa's gift is. <laughs> Santa's gift doesn't work too well. Santa's gift sucks. All right, we'll go back and choose another one. But I, what I'm showing you here is, just to give you the idea of what I'm showing you here, is that it allows you to actually um, select uh, other, select a ROM file as your boot image also, which obviously we all know that you can select it. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, Keptris, that's the one that I played before. That's pretty good. I don't know why I have two of them, but that's good. Keptris. What the heck are you doing? Why are you upside down? <laughs> That's kind of weird. What are you doing upside down? Press a button. I did. You don't like it? Are you? Are you? Oh, press a fire. What the hell is this? Is what I thought it was. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, whatever this game is. I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, this is two-player. 
You can play two player, and I guess the other guy can hang over the top of the screen and do that. I don't know. But anyways, what I was just trying to point out to you there is this is what I was working on during the summer. And yeah, it, it's not very polished right now. But I wanted to point out that what, what I was designing it for was to be a very simple interface. Very quick, very simple interface into the ADE. It also gives you options that the AD doesn't have. And it was gonna get, like I said, it's gonna give you more options too. You'd be able to dig deeper into the various disk images to see the actual files on there and copy files from one disk image to the other disk image so you could copy from CPM to EOS and vice versa. I was coding that too, and as I said, um, I got just very Dissuaded, I guess dissuaded is the word, right word, from wanting to work on it anymore because of a certain somebody. But I'm going to throw that out here. Let's see if anybody thinks I should work on this once I finish my next game or I get to the point in my next game where I can sit still and do some productivity coding instead of game coding because game coding is fun. It's really fun. But there you go. Omega DOS version 0.01 a possibility of what could have been and maybe could still be. Have a good day.